um, car insurance, bike insurance. Just had to do the car insurance car, um, bike so insurance saying, company. This time, I'm bloody saying, oh no, that's our best quote now. Uh, by law, we have to give you right. eight. Here we go. Colour's going off. Yeah. I haven't really looked in here since I put it in. But round and round till it falls oh, below yeah. the level of the screen which it usually does probably after one orbit or half an orbit and uh, drops off to the bottom or sits on top of the damn thing like that one or the other so I've got an adaption on that that I'm going to be doing uh, this summer still got blanket weed going in there even after that resolved but it does seem to lessen down the top it just slowly falls down and drops off of it and uh, ends up down the bottom of the vortex so that's probably an ideal Oh, in there, ready for a clean. These lily leaves definitely want sorting. I bought some bio balls. Um, the uh, Evolution Aqua Jobbies. Bought some dissolvable balls and just don't kick the foot off when I start the pond. Do you want the video with them opening those plaques? God, did that make me smile. Hope you haven't fallen in trying to fit that one up. If you have, hope you had the camera on me on. <laughs> right, hi, and welcome down to Devon Coy Pond on. Oh, what can I say? Beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. But it hasn't been that good this week. Lovely down here now. As you can see, cover's still on the pond. Well, we're about to sort that. Yep, summer's here. Covers are coming off. That's it. So I'll uh, set the cameras up in a bit. And we'll pull them back. And we'll have a good look around. See what's uh, got to be sorted. Ready for the summer season. <sighs> well... I've just had a horrible experience, as most people do. Um, car insurance, bike insurance. Just had to do the car insurance, co um, bike insurance company, which is always a laugh. Oh my God. I've already pre-done it by uh, going to a bike show and compare the market, compare the, you know, things. Done those, i would got two back, two quotes cheaper than the company I was already with. And uh, like you do, you uh, always think, wonder, why have they put it up by that much? You know, oh god, I'm gonna have to phone them again. So you phone this time, they're only bloody saying, Oh no, that's our best quote now. Uh, by law, we have to give you um, the lowest quote we possibly can, so we're not going to be able to discount it anymore. So then, when you tell them how much the other companies are going to charge, they say, Oh well, hang on a minute, and they freaking won't discount it. I could just strangle them. Oh, if you're uh, working the bike insurance, car insurance industry or house insurance or any insurance industry like that or your bloody estate agent come to that or it'll be put in a field and shot right that's that little rant over so let's get on to this right if you're enjoying the videos please smash us a thumbs up if you're not enjoying it smash the thumbs down don't matter either way but a thumbs up is good we're set up get these covers back fish have been busy munching away this week still on the wheat germ and uh, they're packing a fair bit of it down as I said, the mess that that stuff creates is getting a little bit much, so I'll be glad to get off of it, but it's still a little bit too cold to uh, jump onto the feeding on the other stuff. We'll go more into the feeding in a minute when I've got the covers off, but I'll pop uh, this camera over there, and uh, I've got the other camera up here for a bird's eye view. Uh, let us set them running and uh, get these covers off the pond and out the way. Oh, that put a smile on my face, bugger the insurance people. Right, here we go. Colour's going off. This being such a hard job. Look at them, they're all still there, all still alive, and some job. It is hard to keep a close eye on them when the covers is on, so it's always a bonus when they're off, and you can see a bit better. Right. We'll get this stuff off of here and I'll worry about putting it away later on. I'm uh, not exactly fussed at the moment. Like putting it uh, 
down the bottom but we will uh, have to shove it down behind the shed at some point still looking after me balls incidentally go look after your balls pretty good. The little babies out the other year, they seem to have really grown. And uh, I do like the little orange and black topped one. Silver belly, orange and black on its top. It's a nice looking little fish. As you know, I'm not, uh, don't get many new additions to the pond. This is handsome. running on just a one air pump uh, I will sort it onto a uh, second air pump so I can uh, shut the air off uh, to the pond easily because at the moment uh, it's running on the same air as the moving bed and uh, I don't want to be shutting that off but uh, I want to be able to shut the water off in the pond so I can see the fish but, uh, it's alright for a few minutes but uh, to knock it off uh, click click for hours on end then uh, I want that on a different air pump I've got a nice little small uh, 30 litre air pump in there well, that's a uh, nice low wattage I think it's about 15 watts so I can afford to run that one right I'll pop the camera over onto the uh, veg a minute and we'll have a closer look in there while I'm down here and uh, I'll put the rest of this away after we've moved on, but let's have a look in the veg a minute. Okay, right, here's the outlets. This is a job that's on the cards in the next week or two. Make a box to go around that. Lily's uh, pushing up. I think that one's going to struggle this year because uh, with this stuff in the water, it just seems to be growing and spreading. Look at that big carpet of it. Huge girt carpet. This footer looking really good. Law was on about the big plant. Yeah, it's in flower and I managed to keep it here. Sucking nitrates, you can't get much better than that. That's on top of the second box. Here's the first box. Ugh. I haven't really looked in here since I put it in. But there we go. You can actually see the flower water there. Look. So all that water that's going into this, it's going down through them and up through the other one. It's ideal. We'll probably have a bit more of a play around here. Come uh, summer, but this is uh, the piss filter, the moss. That baby tears is definitely going to take over. Ah, oh, summertime. Absolutely handsome. All right, yeah, back over to the outlet here. All right, yeah, I'm going to build a box. I've actually uh, started cutting the stuff up. I'm going to go build a box to sit around those four pipes so that uh, I can keep everything there uh, from getting to the outlet pipes because the lily leaves get sucked 
sucked over it, bits get sucked up to it and it blocks because uh, I get quite a bit of debris in uh, this veg filter um, from all the plant stuff so we need to be able to uh, stop that getting to those and blocking them as you can see here the answer is uh, ready for a clean I don't know if you can catch the sweep on the arm there as it goes round can you see it lifting the material away from the mesh that's how this filter works it back washes to keep that mesh clean then as the mesh stuff falls away from it it goes round and round and round till it falls below the level of the screen which it usually does probably after one orbit or half an orbit and uh, drops off to the bottom or sits on top of the damn thing like that one or the other but I've got an adaption on that that I'm going to be doing uh, this summer still got blanket weed growing in there even after that resolve but it does seem to lessen down in the pond right. okay bloody grass needs cutting again right. no polarized lens on this camera that's on the other one we got a few bits on the bottom they've been pooping well everybody's looking okay uh, pox wise mm, oh there's our pox carrier center screen golden girls here right. yeah, everybody's looking good see any marks or anything on anybody nope, everybody's looking pretty good buy a bit of cart pox one off I got here he's still uh, merrily ticking along last one in the pond I doubt he's lonely I think they're uh, a bit more of a shoaling fish which is unfortunate but uh, I don't want more of them but he's a good age now All right. few bits of poopy floating around in the water and obviously spooked them as well that cover has been on for crikey near six months they uh, take a little bit of getting used to uh, that guy hoping now I'm back in the sun again but, oh so much nicer right over here back from this side yeah yeah, you might actually be able to see better down here on the ants if it were on this side. That's the sweep it makes as it lifts the rubbish away. So then it works and it just slowly falls down and drops off of it and uh, ends up down in the bottom of the vortex. So that's a brilliant idea. Over in there, ready for a clean. These lily leaves definitely want sorting. I think uh, that lily had died back this uh, summer. It's not going to uh, get the amount of light that it needs. So, <laughs> now see the water coming out of uh, here through the uh, piss filter and down through. And uh, I'm surprised the moss has died back a bit. I think it's probably too much bloody sunshine to be honest, but baby tears it's definitely taken out gonna dig some more out of this tray I think plant some more of it in there all right today we have a pond temp of 11.5 temperature in the photo 21.9 okay fantastic All right, let's get you on the step, and uh, we're going to uh, a bit of uh, what take take care on the feeding. Okay, so there you go. Cover off, no doubt it'll cloud up. The snow will start ten minutes later. <laughs> now, fingers crossed, is the start of another good ponding season. Gives me a fair bit to sort out, don't you? But 
the feeding on the fish as you come into summer right this is the important thing do not overfeed your fish do not chuck food in just willy-nilly it's a slow build up test your water watch the increase on your filters as the bio builds up now this year I'm not going to be buying any bio booster no booster balls no liquid I'm gonna go solo try without it now um, I never used to buy it on my use it on my old pond first pond I had never used it in all the time I had it I've only really used it on this pond when I started up this new filter system I bought some bio balls um, the uh, evolution aqua jobbies bought some of the dissolvable balls and to start kick the filter off when I start the pond but this year I'm gonna go without it I'm not lacking in filtration here and it's a balancing act you start to feed your fish the ammonia increases everything increases it goes up through the whole system boom, boom, to the nitrate at the end and uh, your system starts to run and it cycles and it's a slow build up putting too much food and it go haywire simple as that you need to slowly ramp up the amount of food these pigs will want to eat as soon as that temperature gets up 13 14 degrees they want to eat all the time and I can't give it to them it'll be a slow roundup I don't think I'll get to peak feeding probably for another six weeks it'll be a slow build up a lot of it's temperature dependent the quicker the temperature rises the more I'll be able to feed them and the quicker the bio will grow but now yeah, we'll see on that but do watch what you're feeding all right that's the mistake most starters make in the pond room overfeed the fish mess the water up and then spend blooming the rest of the summer bouncing the water around trying to get the quality back well you don't want the quality to go sideways to start with uh, right anything else no that's about it I've enjoyed a few videos this week um, I did enjoy Koi Pond Lifestyles uh, video last week on the uh, tank in the corner that uh, really like that it was a handsome job that lovely to see a bit of uh, tig road in there done to make the stainless steel bracket around it that was fantastic right Leon's video with him opening those plaques god did that make me smile hope you haven't fallen in trying to fit that one up if you have hope you had the camera on Leon <laughs> right from down here in Devon sun's gone behind the cloud but I call it sunny Devon all right so you're still making power plowing in there today it is you can see by the smile on my face right thumbs up if you enjoyed the video thumbs down if you haven't doesn't matter either way i'll be back next week with another video and we'll probably be looking at this box that i'm going to build to go inside the veg filter all right so from oh, it's going to be a minute or two before it comes back sunny devon bye for now and happy ponding <laughs>